Geo's goal was to do an 8-bit type look, the retro type look. So in order to achieve that goal, we wanted to use programs that allow us to draw at the uh, pixel level. Piscal is the program that we've chosen. Over here you can see one of the buttons that we've done. But when you're drawing at that level, you either have to try to draw it big to simulate it, or draw it small in order to scale it up. You notice this button over here is 64 by 48. In order to have that look decent on a screen, we're going to have to scale it forward because on a tablet or even a phone, that's going to be too small. On some monitors, it's also too small. So what we did is we set a virtual resolution. While the game displays at 1280 by 720, we're using a virtual resolution of 640 by 360 to scale it up and keep its size so that when we click on play, boop, you've got the larger screen and everything is brought up without any type of pixelation or blurring like most enlarging would do, since the virtual resolution is emulating the resolution that we want to see. So right here, these are buttons that we're probably going to stick with for our game. We made these buttons here. The background is pretty much where we're going to be. And now we're off to Geo, who will fill you in on some of the work we're doing in order to create the bevy of mobs. A lot of mobs. Somewhat.